everything changes. Hi, it's Pastor Ann. Hey, it's Miss Anna. Hi from Miss Jordan. Hey friends, it's Miss Alyssa. Hi, it's Miss Jacqueline. Hi, it's Miss Wendy. Hi, it's Miss Katie. My name is Mr. Germani, and I'm so excited I get to be here with you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to have some fun, go on an adventure. You see, this month, we're going to be digging deep and searching for wisdom. But before we do that, we got to dig deep in some worship. So I need everyone to stand on up, and let's get some worship in. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You're chasing after me it makes me want to run to where you are God, you make this journey worth it I give you all my heart When I don't know what to do You help me figure it out God, I run to you When I need a solution I have no doubt guys okay let's get started what we're going to talk about today see i don't know about you guys but i love to take a nap and often when i'm napping or when i'm sleeping at night i often dream and speaking of snoozing and sleeping we are going to talk about a king his name is king solomon you see one day while he was sleeping god came to him in the dream god told him he asked him if he could ask for anything he would give it to him now, there could have been a million things King Solomon could have asked for. Let's check out and see what he asked for. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. 
As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, verses 4 through 28. Imagine this. You're in a deep sleep dreaming when all of a sudden the creator of the universe shows up and says, Ask me for anything. Anything. You could ask for anything in the world and have it. What would you say? Perhaps you'd request an unlimited Amazon account where you could get whatever you want for free. Or perhaps you'd request a flying race car that could be dropped off at the moon or on the beach. Or you could ask to be the most popular kid in school forever. <laughs> This might sound like a fairy tale, but it's true. It actually happened to a young man named Solomon. When King David died, his son Solomon became king. What are your royal orders, most royal highness? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I've never been king before. Though Solomon was young and inexperienced, his father, King David, taught him to listen to God's words. So Solomon showed his love for God by obeying his laws. I want to thank the Lord for everything he has done for my family. Solomon traveled to the city of Gibeon where he offered a thousand burnt sacrifices to honor God. There is no one like you, God. That night, Solomon sank into a deep sleep and the Lord appeared before him in a dream. Ask for anything you want me to give you. A thousand ideas must have exploded into Solomon's head, gold, power, life forever, but instead he said, Lord, you have made me a great king, but I'm only a little child. I, I, I don't know how to carry out my duties. I'm here among the people that you have chosen. They are a great nation, so give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. It was a simple request but one that would change Solomon's life forever. You have not asked to live for a long time. You have not asked to be wealthy. You have not even asked to have your enemies killed. Instead, you have asked for wisdom. I will give you a wise and understanding heart. As long as you live, no other king will be as great as you are. As the dream faded, Solomon woke with a start. Was that real? That was real! Amazed, Solomon returned to Jerusalem where he once more gave sacrifices to honor God and held a great feast for all his officials. What are we celebrating, your most royal highness? God has promised to give me wisdom to lead the kingdom. How is that working out for you? Well, it was in a dream. Ah, I see. Perhaps Solomon wondered at first whether he really had received wisdom from God, but this was soon put to the test. Your most royal highness, you must help the people solve their problems. I'll do my best, with God's help. First order of business, we have these two ladies here. State your business, please. My friend and I, Okay, so she's not my friend anymore. Speak for yourself. I'm trying to. We live in the same home and we both had baby boys, but her baby died and so she took my boy in the night and now she says my baby is hers. See, that's not her baby. No way, this baby is my son. Is not, is too. Ladies! Solomon turned to the first woman. You say my son is the living baby, but your friend says the baby is her son. That's a lot. Is not. Is too. God gave Solomon a wise idea. Bring me a sword. An official quickly brought the king's shining sword. Your royal sword, your royal highness. Solomon studied the two women carefully. Excellent. Now, cut the baby in two parts. Give one half to the first woman and one half to the second. Solomon had no intention of harming the baby, but he knew this was the way to find the truth. No! No, 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 no! Give her the baby! Don't kill him! Oh, whatever. Neither of us will get the baby. Solomon could instantly see which woman truly cared about the baby. Give the boy to the first woman here. She is his mother. Thank you. Oh, thank you! No fair! 
That was totally a trick. The baby was given to his true mother. All the Israelites heard about Solomon's decision and trusted that he would judge them fairly too. God made Solomon so wise that his understanding couldn't even be measured, like the sands on the seashore. Did you guys catch that? King Solomon asked for wisdom over God's people. Isn't that amazing? He could have asked for anything in the world. He could have asked for a longer life, more money, more power. You see, friends, we also got to see him use the wisdom when it came to the two women who came in fighting over who was the mother of this baby. I don't know about you guys, but that was a pretty difficult decision for him to make. But I think it would have been even more difficult if he didn't have the wisdom that God had given him. You see, friends, we can have that same wisdom. All we have to do is ask God for it. And guess what? He will give it to us. I'm going to pray for us. So everyone, hands in the air, full for a prayer. Three, two, one. Dear God, thank you so much for the story of Solomon. Thank you for giving him the wisdom to know how to judge fairly. As that whenever we ask for wisdom, that we know that you can trust you, that you will give it to us whenever we need it. We love you and we ask all these things. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, friends, I will see you guys later. Bye.